You're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. A new version of Zynthian was released some days ago, and I think that's really a major update with new and exciting features. So why don't we take a look together in this video? Here we go! To begin with, Zynthian is a Linux-based groove box which allows you to create music on the fly uh, using uh, several plugins and a sequencer. There's a retail version of Zynthian that you can buy on the project's webpage and um, I strongly recommend you to do that if you want to support the developers of this project. And besides being its own sound source, Zynthian can also control your external hardware synth setup. So how do we install this? As always, let's begin with the hardware we need. I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi 400 today, as it has more computational power than Model 3. The new Zynthian release can be used with a touchscreen only, instead of using four encoders, so I'm going to use this nice big touchscreen today. Link is in this video's description. We also need a MIDI keyboard, a small USB hub, and I'm going to use this small USB audio interface. Now, let's assemble this, and then download and install the software. Software. Go to the project's website, zynthian.org, download the SD image they're offering there in the software section, then unzip that SD image and transfer it to an SD card. And now take your SD card, insert it into your Raspberry Pi, and make sure there's a network connection, and then power it up. And now you can wait until the device is booted. And if you're not using the retail version of the Synthian system, you will most likely encounter an error like this. So now it's time to open the web configuration page, which you can open by pointing your browser at synthian.local. And after login, standard password is Raspberry. You will need to set up your screen and your audio card. So in my example, the standard HDMI screen with USB connection worked and also I'm using a standard USB sound card but in order to get that to work I had to log in with secure shell to the Zynthian and type in a command named aplay minus L which then gave me the name of my sound card which I then entered into the advanced section of uh, the audio tab and after that everything worked. So now we can start checking out some sounds and the sequencer on this Linux groove box. So this is the brand new mixer screen you'll land on each time you boot into Synthian. At the moment, there's nothing here. So let's add a new track by tapping and holding the word mixer on the top left. Now you can see a selection of things you can add to your project. Synthesizer tracks, audio tracks, effect tracks, MIDI tracks, and so on. These are called chains in Synthian because each can hold, well, a number of instruments and effects. In this video, I can't show all the stuff Zynthion can do, but please feel free to post questions and additions in the comments of this video. Let's add a drum track by adding a synth chain. Now, you're presented with a big selection of plugins, and if these are still not enough for you, you can add even more in the web interface, or add your own LV2 plugins or sound fonts. I'm going to use the Fabla plugin here, which is some kind of 808 drum machine, on channel 1. After short loading time, I'll add the first preset here. Sounds like this. Okay, now let's go back to the main screen by holding the top left corner for a second. Now hold that once again, and then you can choose the sequencer. Now shortly tap one of those slots to start the sequence playing, and then hold it for another second to enter the grid editor. And now, like on so many other doors and groove boxes, we can draw notes onto a 16-step grid. Nice, now the bass track. Hold the upper left corner to go to the main menu, then add the next synth on channel 2. One of my favorite synths, TRL Noisemaker, is here, so I'm going to use that. As you can see, this comes with a lot of preset sounds, and you can also see how much better the responsiveness of the user interface has gotten with this update. Let's play something and then enter that into the sequencer once again. Thank you. 
Okay, I'll add some more stuff and then I'll get back to you. Oh, by the way, if you like content like this, and if you want to see more on Zinfian in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you want to support what I'm doing here financially, you can become a YouTube member with the button under this video, or join my Patreon. Links are in this video's description. Thank you very much. Okay, some minutes have passed and I've added some sequences, piano strings and a synth effect, all using the plugins provided by Zinfian. You can configure these sequences by tapping them once and then holding the top left corner of the screen. Now you can set up things like the MIDI channel, the length of the sequence, the step size, the name of the sequence and so on. Now I'll go back to the mixer and choose an instrument to play on the keyboard by tapping it once and let's quickly browse the sounds. On this pad I've added a shimmer reverb using the Shiro plugin. Sounds quite nice. Now go back to the sequencer screen. See how all those clips are colored differently. If two or more of these clips share the same color, that is they're assigned to the same MIDI track, then they are mutually exclusive. So starting one will end the other after it's finished playing. I'll show you with a string sound here. Uh, first we have a D minor. And now we change to a C major. Okay, now I'll select the piano sound from the main screen or mixer screen and then let's see how I can fumble my way through short improvisation. By the way, if you don't want to use the sequencer by tapping the sequences live, you can also use the arranger to create songs out of your sequences. Just open the menu in sequencer mode and then tap the arranger option. Okay, yeah, that was semi-okay. <laughs> uh, let's try some synthwave, maybe. One more feature I'd like to show you in this video is the Mod UI web interface for creating your own virtual pedal board. In order to do this in Zinthian, add a special layer or a special chain, which is called Mod UI, and after that is installed, 
You can point your web browser at synthian.local colon 8888. And now you will see this screen and then you can drag those virtual paddles and connect them with virtual cables and then um, use your Synthian as an effects device. Here's a short example. that concludes my short overview on uh, the Zynthian update. This was uh, kind of subjective and I didn't show you everything uh, that was new and old. And if you want to see more on Zynthian, I made some videos a couple of years ago and I'll link them in the description of this video. And here's another sound demo using the synthesizers and the effects on this Linux Groove box. And that's it for today. The new Zynthian release, how do you like it? Please post your opinion in the comments. And if you found this video interesting and useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.